Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you guys a kimchi stuffing recipe right before the holidays and I hope you guys like this one as much as we do. If you guys want this recipe please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. All in all this probably took me less than 10 minutes to make so this is a really fast thing to make ahead of time and let's get started here. All right, I have here six ounces of beef sausage that I am personally using. If you guys don't want to use any kind of meat in there and keep this vegetarian, you can completely do so. You can omit this altogether. But if you want to use it, just grab whatever your favorite sausage is. Use spicy Italian, use whatever it is. Just cut all of these in fours, whatever size it is that you want to eat them in. This is just me cubing them up into little, I guess, bite-sized chunky pieces, just so we can have a little bit of that in every single bite. Next up, we are just going to dice up some onions. Now, I know some people like to use celery in theirs. If you want to use celery, you can do so. I personally am not a fan of celery, so I am skipping that part. Just use, I don't know, whatever amount of celery it is you want. I guess another third cup of that if you'd like. And now for the kimchi. We are using one cup of kimchi. We are just going to loosely pack it into our measuring cup, and then we are going to chop these up into Again, small bite-sized pieces so you can have a little bit in every single bite when you start making your stuffing and eat that. Again, loosely packed, fill it up as much as you want to. This worked for me. I didn't have to add any other seasoning with this. It's just the kimchi by itself, no juice, just whatever it is that you have there. And again, chop these up however you'd like. And just so you guys know, I'm not taking the credit for this. I actually got this from one of my mom friends and she happened to be on a plane when she mentioned this and she didn't give us any measurements and she doesn't cook with measurements. So here I am trying to guesstimate everything and then thankfully it turned out pretty darn good. All right, so going back here, we are using one tablespoon of sesame oil. Go ahead and get your pan super hot, put that in there, add your kimchi in there. We're gonna saute that for a minute. And then we're going to add our onions right on top of that. Not even a minute. Just throw it in there, you know. We're just going to all throw it into the pan. Everything's going to cook nicely together because we're going to let it all eventually saute and then boil it. We are going to let the kimchi and the onion absorb all of that sesame oil. So go ahead and cook that for a couple of minutes. I think when I looked at my timing, it was about two to three minutes or so. And we're just going to let that sit in the frying pan and do its thing first. After a few minutes, you're going to see how everything turns a little bit more translucent in color. Everything should pretty much be absorbed by the sesame oil at this point. And now let's add our sausage right into this. Go ahead and cook this in your pan as well for a few minutes. What, probably a minute or two? That's really all it takes because, I mean, it's fully cooked. The sausage is fully cooked. We're just going to heat it all through for now. Now after this has been going for a few minutes, go ahead and add four tablespoons of unsalted butter right into your pan. We are basically just gonna let this sit here and cook and melt through the pan and then add it all, incorporate it all with the rest of our ingredients until it's melted through. If you guys want this to melt faster, just cut these up into smaller cubes, not these ginormous things that I've got going on here. I mean, it's not like that it takes that long, but you know, Thanksgiving day, there's a lot to do. So we got a lot to do, got to move as fast as we can. And that's just something that can help you guys out. Now that we have pretty much all of that butter melted through, we are going to add two cups of low sodium chicken broth right into the pan. Once you have your broth in there, go ahead and just let it come to a rolling boil. And once you see that, go ahead and grab your pre-packaged stuffing mix and throw that right into your pan. Go ahead and continue cooking this on a high heat setting until you get most of that moisture right out of your pan. If this is too wet for you, go ahead and throw this into your oven, bake it at 325 degrees uncovered for 15 minutes. I did make this ahead of time just so it's one less thing to do on the actual holiday itself. But if you guys like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.